Hey, you're watching Cal Free Kicks, and this is the latest drop from Nike or Nike is a real mouthful. It is the Nike Air Max 1G NRG TXT, also known as the Nike Air Max 1 Golf No Denim. So Merry Christmas and thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel so far. If you haven't subscribed, please do click that red subscribe button below the video. If you do subscribe, click the little notification bell as well and you'll get two things. One, you'll get a notification every time a fresh video drops on the channel and maybe more importantly, if you're a subscriber, you'll be in with a chance of winning sneakers that I give away like this pair of Nike Go Swifts that I gave away to one lucky subscriber last time. So if you do want to be in with a chance of winning a pair of sneakers that are over on the channel and also you like what you see, please do subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up, drop any comments, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Now then, if you're new to the channel, I look into five main things when I review a shoe and I'm gonna kick it off by looking at how this Nike Air Max 1 Air G NRG TXT, also known as the Nike Air Max 1 Golf No Denim, looks on feet. Absolutely love the way this shoe looks. I can't fault it at all looks wise. Really, I don't think there's many better looking silhouettes out there than the Air Max 1. For me, it's one of the best looking silhouettes of all time. I really do love this shoe. Now, for me, I can't normally wear it because it's normally covered in leather, nubuck suede, or some other animal skin. But for this golf release, Nike have made it a full denim upper. You've got this light stonewash denim upper here with the swoosh in the same light stonewash detail. You've got then navy denim uppers for the rest of the sneaker. You've also got clam embroidered detail on the top of the sneaker. The clam theme and the flower theme runs through here on the insole of the sneaker where it says no denim allowed. And you've also got an embroidered detail on the heel cup. And again, on the sole of the sneaker, the clam and flower colorway really comes through with this pink swoosh, really eye-popping light blue. It just looks incredible, the sole of the sneaker and the insole. The upper, again, I can't fault it with this denim look. I even like the really bright pink in your face air bubble. I just think they look incredible overall. Now this no denim colorway has been made because traditionally on golf courses, you're not allowed to wear denim. So really, I think this is a, you know, sticking it to the man from Nike here with the fact that they're releasing this denim colorway for golf shoes. These are worn by Brits Kepka and other Nike sponsored athletes. I doubt we'll see this denim colorway on the golf courses anytime soon. But for me, the only real difference with this and the normal Nike Air Max 1 silhouette is the sole. Now the sole of this sneaker is incredibly thick and rugged and very hard wearing, offers a lot of grip. Normally on the Air Max 1s you get a flat black gridded, you know, it's not the best sole, it's just a traditional sneaker sole really, but this one here is very rugged, very pointed. You've got a lot of ridges to offer excellent grip on the golf course. Now, I want to move on to how comfortable these shoes are by running the curb test to see how much responsiveness you get out of this Nike Air Max 1 sole. So the curb test shows there that from this old school Air Max 1 air bubble midsole, you do get some give, but there's not a lot of give. It's a harder, 
feel on your feet than some of the more recent releases from you know the Ultra Boost and the Vapor Max and so on. You don't get as much bounce in your step, but it is an older technology than a lot of the new sneakers that are out there. And for me, I still think they offer great comfort. They're a true fit. They are a little bit snug, but Air Max ones are always a little bit snug because you've got quite a lot of padding on the inner of the sneaker and again around the heel cup. This for me is more of a winter sneaker. They're gonna offer a lot of warmth because of how thick they are and the amount of layers of denim you've got. So that's gonna offer added comfort in the colder days. Now I wanna move on to how much these sneakers weigh. So coming in at 440 grams per sneaker, that's nearly a kilogram of weight that you'll be wearing on your feet with both shoes. To be honest, you can almost get two pairs of New Balance Fresh Foam Sock Fit sneakers for the same weight as one pair of these. So they're not lightweight. Unfortunately, they are gonna weigh you down a little bit. It's mainly because of the fact that they've got such a heavy upper with this multi-layer of denim here. And again, this sole on this sneaker is incredibly chunky. As you can see from the inner of the sneaker here, the sole does really ride up into the bubble. You're getting a lot of extra sole there and less air but it still offers comfort, like I said before, but the weight I think is a little bit of an issue with the sneaker because they do come in so heavy. Now I wanna move on to the breathability test where I pump smoke through sneakers to show you how much breathability the uppers offer. And in this one, I'm gonna run a comparison just to show you how breathable these sneakers are not. The comparison there shows you that this sneaker isn't breathable at all. The denim upper on this shoe, the only place the air escaped from, or the smoke, sorry, was from the lace loop holes here. Other than that, no air escaped from this shoe at all. I ran the test a couple of times just to be sure, and nothing came out of the upper of this sneaker. Now, when you compare it to other sneakers I've reviewed, you can see, and the comparison, that it was very breathable. If you looked at the Nike React Type Gore-Tex video that I just ran, that sneaker was not breathable at all, but that came with a plus side because it was waterproof, it had a Gore-Tex membrane, so no water was gonna get in, so that's really a true winter rugged sneaker. Whereas this shoe, you're not getting any of that waterproofability, you're just getting the fact that this upper is not breathable. Now you could put a water repellent spray on this to stop the water from getting in, but eventually, the water's gonna get into the shoe and denim gets very heavy when it's wet. So your feet are gonna be even heavier than the 440 grams you've got on each foot if you wear these out and it starts to pour it down. Now, moving on to their price, these shoes come in at 110 pounds, which I think is a great price, very reasonable price point, Nike, thank you very much. If you wanna buy a pair, nike.com are pretty much sold out already. I would go and look at golf shops because that's where I got this pair from. Do not be afraid to search for these at golf shops because some golf pro shops will stock these because of the golf pros that wear them. Now, I'm gonna move on to the rating for this sneaker and I found it very difficult to rate this shoe. I'm gonna give them three and a half stars. Now, I've gotta give them three and a half stars. I've gotta overlook the fact that I think they look incredible. I absolutely love how this sneaker looks. If it was just looks only, I'd give them five stars without hesitation, but unfortunately, You've got to look at the price, reasonable, that's another plus point. But the negatives, they're comfortable, but they're not the most comfortable. Then you've got the fact that they weigh so much, and then you've got the fact that they're not breathable at all. If you want a cozy winter sneaker that looks great, yes, I would buy these. But the fact is, there are so many more pairs of sneakers out there that are gonna be more comfortable, more lightweight, and more breathable. So if you're not, if you're doing anything other than just wearing these as a fashion sneaker, then I wouldn't wear them. I wouldn't even wear these on the golf course because of the fact that you're gonna get so hot and sweaty when you wear these. Right, I hope you found this review helpful. If you've liked what you've seen, please do hit the subscribe button below. You can also follow me on Instagram and also give any comments. Big thumbs up if you like it. Hope to see you again very soon. Big Merry Christmas and goodbye.